In this video, we are going to learn about arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence. Dito sa arithmetic sequence, ang gagamitin nating operations dito ay subtraction at addition. While dito naman sa geometric, ang operations na gagamitin natin dito ay division at multiplication Ang pinaka pariho dito sa arithmetic sequence at geometric sequence ay naghahanap tayo ng pattern Now let's take this example 1 5 9 13 17 Arithmetic sequence Hanapin natin yung difference dito This is 4 Bali, 5 minus 1 is equals to 4. Now, para makuha natin yung next, eh, kasi yung difference dito ay 4. In other words, nag-add tayo ng 4 sa 1 para maging 5. Nag-add tayo ng 4 sa 5 para maging 9. So, itong si 13 din, nag-add din tayo ng 4 para maging 13. At mag-add din tayo ng another 4 dito sa 13 para maging 17. So, ito na yung pattern. Pariho tayong nag-add ng 4. So, this is what we call common difference. Paano hanapin yung common difference? Yung next or yung a sub 2 minus yung a sub 1, bali itong si 5 minus 1, is equals to common difference. Or we can take any term minus yung previous na term that is equals to common difference. Now, how about geometric sequence? We divide 3 divided by 1 is equals to 3. In other words, 1 times 3 equals 3. 9 divided by 3 is equals to 3. Therefore, we multiply 3 to 3, and that is equals to 9. 27 divided by 9 is equals to 3. Or, nag-multiply tayo ng 3 sa 9 para maging 27. 81 divided by 27, in other words, nag-multiply tayo ng 3 sa 27 para maging 81. Itong parehong 3 na ito, ito yung tinatawag na common ratio. Paano nga natin nahanap si common ratio? Si a sub 2 divided by a sub 1, that is equals to common ratio. Or take any number divided by the previous number, that is equals to common ratio. Again, para mas lalong maintindihan itong common difference kung paano hanapin yan, based dito sa example natin, that will be 5 minus 1 equals 4. 9 minus 5, that is equals to 4. 13, bali yung any number natin, that is 13, example 13, minus the previous number na 9, and that is equals to 4. Yung isa, 17 minus 13, that is equals to 4. Ito yung common difference. Dito naman sa geometry, kung paano hanapin itong common ratio. 3 divided by 1 is equals to 3. 9 divided by 3, that is equals to 3. 27 divided by 9, that is equals to 3. 81 divided by 27, that is equals to 3. Ito yung common ratio. Now, let's find, let's find the nth term. Let's find the nth term of arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence. In arithmetic sequence, any number 
for the nth term is equals to a sub 1 first term plus the nth term minus 1 multiplied by the common difference. While sa geometric, any number or nth term is equals to a sub 1 or the first term multiplied by the common ratio raised to the nth term minus 1. Example, let's find the fourth term. a sub 1 natin ay 1. Yan yung nauna dito. Plus, n is equals to 4. Kasi fourth term, minus 1 multiplied by its common difference. Ano nga ba yung common difference? Take any number minus previous number is equals to common difference. Any number, let's take 9, minus yung previous ng 9 ay 5, that is equals to 4. So, ang common difference dito ay 4. Next, unahin natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. 4 minus 1, that is equals to 3. Tapos, i-multiply natin ng 4. By following order of operations, we have to multiply first bago tayo mag-add. 3 times 4, and that is equals to 12. Now, 1 plus 12 is equals to 13. Therefore, ang fourth term is equals to 13, which is tama. Now, let's find the fourth term also in geometric sequence. Ang first term dito ay 1, or a sub 1 natin ay 1. Common ratio natin, paano nga ba hanapin si common ratio? Take any number divided by the previous number, this is equals to ratio, your common ratio. So let's take 9 divided by 3, that is equals to 3. So, yung common ratio natin dito ay 3. So, itong 3 na to, ni-raise natin ng 4 minus 1. And term natin dito ay 4. Next, unahin muna natin yung nasa exponent natin. 4 minus 1 is equals to 3. Next. Exponent muna tayo, pero pwede nating i-ignore itong 1 na to kasi any number multiplied by 1 is the same, is equal to the same number. So, pwede nating i-ignore na rin yan siya. 3 cube or 3 na may exponent na 3, this means 3 times 3 times 3 and that is equals to 27. So, ang fourth term dito ay 27 which is tama naman dito na 27. Ngayon, para sa mga nahihirapan nito in finding the nth term. Kung pinahanap sa iyo like example yung 10th term, 12th term, itong mga number na ito, yan lang yung ilagay nyo sa letter n. Letter n. Example. 10th term. A sub 10 is equals to yung first term natin ay 1, yung pinaka una. Pinaka nasa unahan ng sequence mo. Plus, yung n is equals to 10 minus 1 tapos yung common difference. Example, ang common difference dito ay 4. Ganun lang. Next, kung pinahanap sa'yo yung 12th term. So, a sub 12 equals yung sa first term plus yung 12 minus 1, i-multiply mo sa common difference. Now, sa geometric naman, kung pinahanap sa'yo yung nth term, yung n ay lagyan mo lang ng 10 is equals to Yung a sub 1 mo or yung pinakaunang term dito ay 1. Kung ano yung given, yung pinakaunang term dito sa atin dito ay 1. Tapos yung common ratio. Yung common ratio naman dito ay 3. 
Now, ang exponent na n minus 1, pinahanap sa'yo yung temp, so that will be 10 minus 1. Kung pinahanap sa'yo yung ika-12 term, so lagyan mo lang ng 12 dito. Tapos yung exponent ay 12. Then, isolve mo na. Next, let's find the sum. Sum of the first nth term. In arithmetic sequence, sum of nth term is equals to n tapos si first term plus yung nth term divided by 2. While dito naman sa geometric sequence, sum of nth term is equals to yung first term, i-multiply mo sa ratio na raise sa nth term minus yung first term divided by yung ratio minus 1. From this formula, this can also be written as a sub 1 multiplied by ratio raised to the nth term minus 1 over ratio minus 1. And this is also the same as a sub 1 multiplied by 1 minus ratio raised to the nth term over 1 minus ratio. Kahit saan lang dyan ang pwede nyong i-memorize kung saan yung gusto nyo dyan. O kung gusto mong ito yung i-memorize nyo mismo. Pero kung gusto nyo ako mismo mamili para sa formula na i-memorize nyo, ito na lang ito yung i-memorize nyo. Now, dito tayo sa arithmetic. Example, yung sum ng first, four, fourth, term. Sum sa first, fourth term. S4, S sub 4, tapos yung N natin ay 4. I-multiply natin sa first term, which is 1, i-add natin sa, sa fourth term. Ano ba ang fourth term? 13. Dito sa example natin, given yung fourth term. Just in case hindi siya given, huwag kalimutan ang formula na ito kung paano hanapin si nth term. Halimbawa, yung first, tenth term or twelfth term, yung mga ganyan, fifth term, fifteenth term, yung ganyan. So, going back, dito sa 4, multiplied sa 1 plus 13, divided by 2. Unahin muna natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, and that is equals to 14. I-multiply muna natin. 14 times 4, that is equals to 56. Divided by 2, and that is 28. So, ang sum sa first fourth term ay 28. In other words, 1 plus 5 plus 9 plus 13, this is equals to 28. Kapag sum of the list of numbers, yan ang tinatawag nating series. Kapag list lang katulad nito, yan ang tinatawag nating sequence. Pero, wag magpalito when we talk about number series. Kasi, isa lang naman ang hanapin natin dyan when we talk about number series, pattern ang hanapin natin para makuha natin yung mga next na numbers or yung mga missing numbers. Anyway, dito na tayo sa geometric. Let's find the sum of the first fourth term. Ang first number natin dito ay 1. Ito yung gamitin natin. I-multiply natin sa common ratio. 3 divided by 1 equals 
3. So, ang common ratio natin ay 3. Now, itong N, 4 ang ilagay natin dyan. Kasi fourth term minus yung 1 divided by yung ratio natin ay 3 minus 1. Unahin muna natin si exponent. 3 na may exponent na 4. That means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And that is equals to 81. So, 81 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is equals to 2. 81 minus 1, that is equals to 80. So, 80 na yan siya. 80 times 1, 1 lang naman yan, and that is equals to 80. 80 divided by 2, that is equals to 40. So, ang sum dito sa first, fourth term ay 40. In other words, 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus 27, this is equals to 40. Kunting recap lang, kasi dito banda itong sum of the nth term, gamit na gamit ito, kasi minsan nang lumabas ito sa civil service exam. And with regards sa arithmetic sequence or series, geometric sequence or series, isa lang to sa mga nasa tips kung paano sagutan yung number series na kadalasang lumalabas sa civil service exam. Mag-recap muna tayo. Kapag sinabing, find the sum of the nth term. Kung ano yung given, like, find the sum of the first tenth term. Example, tenth term. Yung ten na yan, yan ang isulat mo dito sa n mo at isang n. Tapos, yung a sub n, isolve mo muna kung ilan ba yung pang nth term. Now, yung pang, ay, pang tenth term, kasi yan yung example natin dito. So, ito yung kukunin mo na formula para makuha mo yung tenth term. Once ma-identify mo na yung tenth term, Yan ang isulat mo dito sa A sub N. Then, pwede mo nang isolve yan. Now, dito naman sa geometric, itong A na ito, A sub 1, yan yung first term. Tapos, i-multiply mo lang sa ratio. Yung ratio mo, nandito na yan. Kung paano ba hanapin yung ratio ay yung any number divided by the previous number that is equals to ratio. Once ma-identify mo na yan, erase mo lang raise to nth term. So, kung ang hinahanap ay 10th terms, find the sum of the first 10th term, ito ang sulatan mo ng 10, tapos erase, raise to 10, tapos minus yung previous, yung pinaka first number, Divided by yung ratio minus 1. At para ma-master mo yung difference between this arithmetic and geometric sequence, mas magandang i-review nyo ulit ang video ito. Thank you.